Hello and welcome. I'm Clueless Mike, and you're watching a Modeling for Advantage. So, what presents has the Kaiser sent over for me to look at today? Well, today we have Combat Patrol Grey Knights. That is it, the Demon Hunters of the Imperium, part of the Ordo Marius, or certainly were in the past. We have a whole box of plastic goodies to take a look through. Let's see what's inside. Okay, here we have the box. Let's crack this open and find what we've got inside. Always the fun bit of these videos is the unboxing of the actual box, getting the cellophane off, we all know that. That's what you're tuned in for. Oh, this one is proving problematic. Okay, here we go. Let's get to the good stuff. And by the good stuff, I mean the manual. I imagine it's as good as normal. Yep. All colour-coded, all the lovely manual that you fully expect from GW. Excellent production quality, useless stats in the back. Everyone's favourite, the manual. The next most exciting part of all these kits, the bases. We have what looks like five 40mm Terminator bases there. I oh, know six 40mm Terminator bases there, so that's for those. Then some 32mm ones there for the Strike Marines. First bit of kit now. Oh, this is smaller than expected. So this is the Terminator Librarian. Um, plastic model, um, mono pose completely by the looks of it. Some of the plastic single kind of like kits have options there for different weapons, slightly different um, head stuff like that. This one looks like it has no options at all on it. Um, if we look close, yeah, it's got a single hand. We've got the front and back. It's basically a two two piece mold, and then you stick the arms on and a couple of shoulder pads. Uh, one thing of note is that the shoulder pad that goes on ah no, that is very strange. So the shoulder pad that goes on the right hand side of the model um, is this one here, and it has the Librarian Crux Terminatus, I believe, is on there. All Terminators wear a special shoulder pad, which. In the fluff has a little shard of the Emperor's armor that he wore while fighting Horus is buried in the shoulder pad. Um, and that's also their force field generator and such in the shoulder pad. Um, and that's always on the right hand or the left hand of the actual model, so this side. Um, but Grey Knights wear a special shoulder pad on their left hand side. So I was hoping that that shoulder pad was going to be a replaceable one, but it actually looks like it's molded onto the arm, which is a bit annoying, because how do you then get a Grey Knight shoulder pad on the side? This is obviously a, a librarian made to go in any Space Marine chapter, and they've thrown it in here. So slightly disappointing there. Good things about the model, though, it's a really nice sculpt. It's got a really nice flowing cloak on. I always like a cloak on a librarian. Um, he's got a really cool stance leaning forward. He's got a big open hand there, casting a psychic power. So really nice model, just a little bit of a shame that it's monopose and a bugbear of mine would be not being able to change the shoulder pad. I suspect if I were building it, I would try and shave down that shoulder pad using clippers and a knife, just so I could then stick a proper Grey Knight Terminator shoulder pad over the top of it, which I suspect is what many people do. I'm just having a look here. Yeah, if I look very closely at the model in the picture, it doesn't have the Grey Knight shoulder pad. Okay, so that is the Terminator. Next we get to, well, this is probably the big selling point of this kit, is the fact it comes with a Nemesis Dread Knight. Now, some people hate this model, some people love this model. This is the Baby Carrier. Um, it was the first of the various models that Games Workshop have brought out which look like Baby Carriers, and it's probably the worst of them, to be honest. Um, they really are just strapping a Terminator to the front of this thing. Rules-wise, though, it's always been super cool. It's basically, here's a Greater Demon-style model in your Grey Knight army. It's really tough, it's got really good damage output in melee, it's got really good range damage output. Um, for the last couple of editions of the Grey Knights Codex, they've also made it so you can have a Grand Master in Nemesis Dread Knight, which is made from exactly the same kit, and basically you use a helmetless head instead of a helmeted head, um, and try and paint it a little different. Rules-wise, these have been very strong, um, up to the side of, up to the point where Games Workshop have nerfed them slightly. You can only take one Nemesis Grand Master in Nemesis um, Dread Knight armour, per army basically now, which is slightly annoying, meaning the maximum you'll ever need in a battle-forged army it would be four of these kits. But you probably want to field at least two in more or less any army you field. You're always going to want a Nemesis Dread Knight Grandmaster, and you probably want at least one normal Nemesis Dread Knight. So really good value in this kit. Comes with some good build options. You've got the sword, the hammer, 
Um, you get three types of ranged weapons. I personally find that they're really easy to magnetize. You magnetize them at the wrist part here for the sword and the hammer. Um, and then you can just pull them on and off and you can stick a normal fist in instead of its place. And actually the weapons, they take a little bit more um, doing, but you don't actually need to magnetize them. They have these, if I can find them on here, they might be on the other sprue. Yes, so here is the back of a weapon. It has this curved plastic feeder tube, goes on the back of all the types of weapons, but that has a load of flex in. And if we look really closely, hopefully the camera's picking this up, you can see these two little bobbles in there they actually have indents inside the arms that they can like lock into. So on my ones, I've just made the weapons up. And to swap the weapons up, you just flex the tube ever so slightly. The whole thing comes off and then you can just plug a different weapon straight on. No magnets needed. Super easy. Really good. OK, Nemesis Dreadnought, big plus. Next up, we have the Terminators. So they're another great big sprue here. These come with loads of options. As with the Grey Knights, um, they came out, this range of Grey Knights came out maybe seven, eight years ago, probably eight years ago. Um, and their kits all came out and they can all make multiple units. So this kit here can make a standard five-man Terminator squad. Pretty useful. You get all the weapon options you'd ever need. You've got Nemesis Thunder Hammers. You've got swords. You've got halberds. You've got Nemesis Falchions. You've got staff. Um, you can also make um, a command... Um, squad parts out of it so you can make an apothecary out of this you can make a standard bearer or ancient out of this you can make paladins who are basically more elite terminators they use um they have slightly different style helmets that's really the only difference i suspect nobody would care um what else can you do with this kit uh you could make a captain or um uh, other lord character i can't remember what they're called in grey knights at the minute basically a captain or lieutenant um, so you can make all of that out of this kit really easily. It's got lots of options, lots of nice posability. Really nice kit. Rules-wise, Terminators aren't the hottest thing in the Grey Knight Codex because they're a little expensive, but they're still a really solid unit. And because you can make those characters out of this, this is just a great option to have. Lastly, we come to the standard Powered Armor Grey Knight Sprue. This makes all kinds of stuff. So with this one sprue of five dudes, you can make the Strike Squad, who are a troop choice. They're a really good troop choice. You will definitely want them in your army. They're very solid. You can also make Inceptors. Uh, they have these special teleporter jump packs. They're basically jump infantry. Um, you can make those out of this. They're another really solid option in the Codex. You can make a Purgation Squad out of this, which are the heavy weapon dudes. I'm not sure how many heavy weapons you get in this kit. I think you probably get enough for a full squad of purgation um, dudes, but you probably don't get the best mix of weapons. You get a silencer, two psi cannons, and an incinerator. But that's enough to make a squad. Two of these kits, you could easily make a squad of four um, um, psi cannons, so that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, what else can you make out of this squad? You can make purifiers, who are the elite close combat, slightly better psycho version of the Grey Knight infantry. So one sprue there four different unit options and what this means for this box as a whole other than the librarian everything in here you could happily use multiple of you could buy four of this box and only the librarian would be slightly wasted and because he's usable in all marine chapters you might want to take him in a different marine chapter you might want to sell him on ebay do whatever but this box as a whole if you're collecting grey knights is just super good value everything is multiple use um the kits are all designed so they're all completely Posable in loads of different manners. Um, I play Grey Knights. I've magnetized more or less every model that you get in here so that I can swap between all the different squads you've made. Um, it's just really handy. It's how I, how I like kits to be made. So you can just utilize everything you get. There's so many options, especially on the Terminator sprue. There's so many kind of like little bits and bobs you can add. And that's so you can really make kind of like models with character if you want to make them into your character models. Really nice. Uh, the Dread Knight is just such a super model to use on the table. Really good fun as well. Um, that you'll definitely want one of those in your army. So the only slightly disappointing part, as I said before, is the Librarian. Rules-wise, he's pretty good. You probably want a Librarian in your force, but you don't need multiple of them. And model-wise, you certainly wouldn't want multiple of the exact same monopose model. But other than that, absolutely fabulous box here. Well worth it for any people thinking of starting a Grey Knight army out there. Thanks for watching. 
If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. Thank you.